The Lagos State Government will make the report of the Judicial Panel of Inquiry and Restitution for Victims of NSAS public as soon as it is received. Governor Babadide Sonwolu made the pledge at the 10th meeting of the National Council on Lands, Housing and Urban Development in Lagos. Adidroja Salamadini has more. The governor of Lagos State. This is a gathering of directors and senior officials from relevant agencies in the building industry from the federal and state government. More recently, the assembly focuses on the challenges facing the industry in relation to job creation and national development. Minister of Works and Housing appeals for the commitment of states to improving housing in order to gain economic development and poverty reduction. The first thing that even happens if we commit to housing development is that we begin to add value to land. How long it takes to get a building permit. Making the bureaucracy more efficient, if necessary, automating it and reducing the number of people it has to pass through without compromising your individual state objective. In his opening address, Governor Sonwolu seeks more collaboration from the federal government on the national urban development policy for reducing housing deficits in the state. We believe that there should be an improved collaboration with the federal government through Federal Ministry of Works and Housing on the allocation, issuance of approvals and clearances for fiscal development in Lagos. Lagos is also preparing affordable home trust fund. Um, we believe in this, we're reviewing it and we're, we're looking at the laws to promote investors' confidence. The Governor Sonwolu used the gathering to clear the air on the concluded but yet to be submitted report of the Judicial Panel of Inquiry and Restitution for Victims of NSAS one year after. Upon the handover of that report, we will be making it public. We do not want to cover anything. That's not who we are. We will make full disclosure of whatever recommendations, of whatever um, identification um, that the panel will come up with. Everybody that was arrested by the police for one reason or the other have all been released, except an individual that was caught with dangerous weapon. And he had cutlasses, he had charms and all sorts. And he did confess to the police that he was there to cause mayhem. Lagos State is still at the rebuilding stage from the massive destruction it suffered during the 2020 NSAS protest. The state had estimated the loss to be about 1 trillion naira. This may not include private businesses and property that were consumed in the mayhem that trailed the protest. But what seems of priority importance to the state is to stimulate healing for those who had suffered pain or brutalized in the past. Adidonja Salamadini, TVC News, Lagos.